What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing day and today's video we're going to take a look at how you can update your galaxy s9 s9 plus or the note 9 to the one ui 7 update now i won't be going through each and every single feature of the one ui 7 if you have one of these lying around and if they are in working condition this is a must try out again there are still few bugs remaining that will be squashed in upcoming months or the developers will be shifting to one ui 8 maybe but pretty much if you don't already know about Noble ROM, this developer has been porting all the One UI since the official updates have been stopped. So unlike my previous videos where it's just a basic bare bones port, this actually has quite a lot of effort in providing a stable experience. So just going through the apps and stuff, the performance is pretty good for 7 year old device. Like even if you go through the UI, One UI 7 is quite heavy even for the phones released in last couple two years. So just imagine this 7 year old beast running it. As you can see, you have the now brief. You don't need any kind of fancy hardware from Galaxy S25. And you might see the brightness is full right over here, but that's just to control the flickering in the camera. But brightness works, Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth. There is some audio crackling issue. GPS works, vibration. Pretty much all the hardware stuff has been fixed, except the camera for the Galaxy S9 Plus. The rear one doesn't work. And the developers have actually provided the older One UI 6 one for better stability. But if you have the Note 9 or the S9, Almost all the features just work fine on the S9, just the selfie camera works. So we have to actually wait a bit for the S9 bugs to be squashed. Like it even has a rotation issue, but that will be fixed in the upcoming updates. And going through more apps, you just have your basic stuff like a kernel manager rooted with magics and just no bloatware at all. Basic Samsung stuff. You even have the generative edit and Samsung features working quite fine right over here. And talking about few of the other bugs, like even in Galaxy Note 9, you have some issues with the Bluetooth functionality of the S Pen. So that will be always there. Like even the iris scanner will never work because Samsung has completely removed the functionality of it. But fingerprint scanner or the secure folder, which are very heavy SNOX features, have been fixed by the developer as the change log says. But as you can see, generative edit just works fine. Even if you want to use the eraser and they are completely free for the lifetime. So that's pretty good. Going through more stuff, nothing much. I have replaced the device care with Smart Manager, which is the Chinese version of it. So it has a two page utility, just like any kind of Chinese OS, but functionality is extremely similar. The developer has also added battery protection option. And even if you want to use your banking apps, you have to just go to Magix. Give it a second. I need additional setup, I'll do that later on. But just go to the settings, scroll down, enable Zygisk. Reboot the device once and the safety net will be completely working fine. So you can use your banking apps. Then just going through the settings, there are few bugs that I noticed like the accessibility wasn't working. I have to install it separately. But going through lock screen, even have the always on display wallpaper functionality from the S24. So I just check that, set it on all always. As you can see, it looks very beautiful, but it's not recommended to use this on an older OLED panel as it might cause burn in pretty easily compared to the newer panels, which drop down to one hertz. You even have the now bar. And also the Gemini Live has been working quite fine, which is recently introduced in the S24. So you can just share your screen or the camera to it. Even has a beautiful animation and the quick live notification, which is quite nice. You can dismiss it right away. You even have the Samsung Dex working right on the display. So let's just check that out. I don't think I've enabled it, but let's just check it. If I just start it quickly, there you go. The decks will work right over here. No need of external display. And the One year 7 one is quite optimized and looks even quite nice. As you can see, scales quite good. Here are all the apps. And then finally, let's just get to the installation of this ROM. So if you don't have any prior experiencing in installing a TWRP recovery or any kind of custom ROM, I highly recommend to just watch a video made for your device like the S9 or the S9 Plus or the Note 9. Once you install the TWRP recovery, just return back to this video and go to the recovery by powering off your device, which would be through the quick settings panel for me. So power it off. Hold on your Bixby volume up and the power at the same time. 
Once you enter the TWRP recovery, I really hope you have backed up all of your data as we will be repartitioning our device to accommodate the larger One UI 7. So all of your data will be gone. So go to install, select the repartitioner, swipe to install. This will expand the system storage. Once it repartitions the device, it will reboot itself. Once the device has been booted back up from repartitioning, you have to copy the cleaner zip from your PC. So just go to install again, flash the cleaner. This will completely mount and clean all of your new partitions. Again, it will just reboot itself. And once it boots back up, you have to just copy the ROM and the now brief installer. Once the ROM has been copied, go to install again, select the noble ROM. It will automatically begin the aroma installer. Read all the info, clean install, rest of the world or the Korean CSC. You can choose rest of the world. So I'll select mine by scrolling down to India, INU, next, advanced deep load if you don't want clutter. So you can now select whatever you don't want to get installed. So accessibility functions, I definitely want that edge feature, Samsung magnifier. Um, pretty much all the stuff I want actually. So game optimization services, no need. I'll definitely need all these. Bixby, nah, nothing. You can increase image quality to 100, doesn't matter. Multi-user doesn't matter. So I won't get that. Choose whatever the tweaks you would like. So maybe using camera during the call, Chinese smart manager or the device care that I already showed you. Camera shutter, network speed, call recorder, which is a bit handy one. So we'll just have that. Bixby button remapping, whatever you like. So opening camera, taking a screenshot, I'll just have screenshot. And then there are a bit more advanced functions like using the decks on an external display or the phone itself. But the HDMI output is broken, so I'll just recommend getting the display on your phone. Then again, you have the level of animation, so I'll choose high end, butter smooth. You can choose your boot animation, emojis, standard one works. Then I can Dolby support, which is quite nice. Very handy improvements in the ROM. If you want to use your banking apps, I'll highly recommend getting magics. So clean magics it is. And then the ROM will install itself. As you can see, after a while, the ROM has been successfully installed. You can check my change log that everything just went fine. Like the deep loading, routing, installing custom kernel and features so hit next it will exit the installer and don't just reboot right now if you want the now brief just go back select the now brief package hit install reboot the system and the phone should be booting into the one ui 7 in couple of minutes the first boot may take a while and the phone is back up in a minute so let's just set it up and yeah guys, that's pretty much it on how you can install One US 7 on your Galaxy S9, Note 9 or the S9 Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like, subscribe down there for more Galaxy S9 videos and do let me know if you want to watch more stuff on this device so that I'll work on it and see you guys in the next one.